Good morning. Good morning. May the grace of God be upon us, each and every one. It's good to be here, good to be with you, good to see you, and once again, may God bless you. Uh, <clears throat> let's uh, sing our opening hymn, number 167, Go Tell It on the Mount. Amen. Our celebrations and our concerns. On the back of your bulletin, you can see uh, those that we want to keep in our hearts and prayers that are going through various difficulties at this time, Tiege, Mary Nell, John Foster, Charlotte Tidwell, Martha Oglesby. Always get cards from Martha. And, uh, you know, with her right in hand, uh, I, that's going to be hard on her. Um, <clears throat> celebrations and concerns. I can't remember, is this when we ask for things? What happens now? Okay. okay. I'm sort of glad he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Brad. All right, I do uh, wanna let you all know uh, first of all, that the poinsettias are now up for grabs, and so go ahead and grab one after church. Uh, the other thing, I don't have all the details just yet, but we have learned that Linda Creekmore uh, has fallen and potentially broken her arm as well. 
And so please do keep her in your prayers. Reach out, check in with her. Um, we'll know some more information, of course, uh, oh, when we can reach out and, and find it. But for right now, just be checking in with her and loving on her. But with that, do we have any, uh, any good news, birthdays, celebrations? Anthony. Your sister got her first car. That is awesome. Yeah. It's always good whenever a sibling gets their first car. They have all the maintenance and you get all the rides. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. She's only like 15 years old. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if that's uh, good news for her, bad news for everyone else on the road. <laughs> Listen, y'all, we have a, a lighter crowd today, and so let's keep it light. Let's... um sing out to God, and let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? So any, Margo. Absolutely. Do you know what uh, today's candle is for? By chance? What's that? Boxing Day? That's tr it is Boxing Day. And it is the first day of Kwanzaa. And so there is reason to celebrate. Thank you. Any other? No, we all had Christmas. I expect a lot of good news. All right. With that, let us stand and go to God with our call to worship. Church, all creation joins in one song. Praise the Lord. Praise God, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and the heaven. Let's pray. Reigning God, your rule extends to the farthest stars. And you come to rule within us on this glorious day when the word became flesh to dwell with us. And so we open ourselves to the, the light and we long to offer our lives as a dwelling place for your truth. God, speak to us again through the child of Bethlehem. Reach out to the child in each of us and hold us in the warmth of love's embrace. For it is to you, O giver of joy, that we give praise. For in the fullness of time, you came to be with us and to give us hope, peace, and joy. We thank you that in Mary, you found one who would willingly give over control of her life, trusting in you for the sake of your love for us. We rejoice that we have received grace upon grace in the giving of your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. We ask that you would forgive us of our frequent unwillingness to let your joy spring to life in our midst. Forgive us of the self-centeredness that has kept so many in this season from revealing the fullness of your joy. God, refashion us so that we might recognize the greatness of your gift and release the joy that you have planted deeply, deeply within creation. Because you have made us for joy, Lord, we are burdened just the same. We are burdened to see a world that is limp and, and joyless so often, as trouble and depression and grief and sorrow pervades our world. The joy of life seems to fade from our life and from our sight. And yet we know that we have been called by you to entrust our world's needs and our own to your safekeeping, trusting that you 
in your right time, Lord, will bring to fruition your promise of redemption. Inspire us to trust that, to trust you, to joyfully bring our world the news of your presence in our midst. God, we pray for all your children in their need. To those who are fearful and oppressed, give freedom. To those who are hungry and homeless, give help. To those who are lonely and grieving, give your peace. To those who are sick, give healing and hope. God, as we give thanks for all your saints who rest in peace with you, we offer to you our lives afresh. Make us to walk in your path of righteousness. Fill us with joy as we pray in Christ's name, as he taught us to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, how would be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We will have proclamation of the word. Uh, if you want to turn in the Pew Bibles, the pages 833 and 834, Luke 2, 41-52. Here begins the reading. Now, every year his parents went in Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting amongst the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. He said to them, why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand, he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother measured and treasured all these things in her heart. Here ends the reading. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 